Whoa, a shell us. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, uh, blues evolving. What's up, you beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy George, and today we're back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. If you do like these episodes, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Now, if you remember in last episode, we managed to get our first uh, gym badge, the coal gym badge. Um, but what I forgot to do was head on down in the first episode to Route 201 and Lake Verity uh, to get another couple encounters because we started our Nuzlocke at 202. So first things first, I'm gonna head down there, get another couple encounters and then we'll head on up to Flora Mora Town. Okay guys, so we're back in San Jim Town. We're just about to go to Route 201 and I think the only Pokemon we can get here is Shinx and Cricketot, which we've already got, and Bidoof and a Starly. So Hopefully we can get both, obviously, uh, but I'd really, really like a Starly. So let's see what this encounter is. A bit of, there we go. So that's our next encounter. Um, we've got Daffy out in front. Let's see what moves Daffy can do. We can go for a quick scratch. We are at level seven. We don't want to take it out. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough to throw a ball, don't you? There we go, getting the ball, little dude. Can we get him on the first try? There we go, look. We caught a bit of bit of the plump mouse Pokemon. I'm probably not going to use this guy much. I'm going to go with HM Guru, so it's probably what we're going to be using him for anyway, just for like cut strength, rock smash, that sort of thing. Uh, and we'll go from there. Now on up to Lake Verity. Perfect. Now let's throw a ball at Starly. Uh, it's only got Pokeballs. We haven't got any great balls yet, but fingers crossed we can have this in one throw. Yeah, boy. Perfect. He's going right at the top of my team now. I love Star Raptor. It's absolutely an amazing Pokemon. I'm going to nickname this guy Blue, uh, referencing Jurassic World. Uh, obviously, one of the raptors in there is called Blue. Ha so have it. And uh, the last stage of Starly is a Star Raptor, which absolutely looks flipping amazing. It's probably one of my favourite of the uh, early game flyer Pokemon. So yeah, we'll go with that one. So this is our team for a minute. We've got Blue out in front. Um, I did box Zubat for the moment. Um, just because I wanted to have HM Guru on the team because we need Rock Smash uh, strength for bits like that in the near future. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding before we head on up. I want to get everyone to at least level 10 and then we'll head on up to Floramora Town and we'll see what the levels are like up there, maybe needing to get to level 12 or something even further maybe. So, so let's do this, let's head on up. Also while I'm thinking about it, I just want to give a shout out to my boy Gold Duck Gamer. Um, he mentioned in the comments of episode one that if at any point we did find uh, a Psyduck that he wanted me to name it after him. So yeah, unfortunately we did find a Psyduck before I got that comment. So uh, we'll have to try and find the uh, name the name guy later on in the playthrough and change it. But yeah, go and head over to his channel. Check him out, guys. He's really cool. He's, uh, he's actually doing another Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke playthrough at the same time as us so hopefully you'll enjoy his as well. So this is our team for the moment boys and girls we've been doing our grinding I did about 20 minutes in uh, Route 203 just grinding on all the Bidoofs and the Shinks and whatnots. Uh, we've got most things to level 10 apart from HM Guru who will, will probably just run as a five-man team for the moment. Um, obviously Twiggy's a little bit over leveled but we needed to uh, before we sorted out our team um, Blue's up in front and he's got the uh, held item Quick Claw. Uh, he's also learnt Wing Attack. We've got Jimmy with our Fury Cutter. Daffy's level 10, he's learnt uh, Water Gun finally. And we've got Rocky, which knows, um, what is it, Rock Smash. And then there's HM Guru at the bottom, level 2, which doesn't really know anything. I think he just learns Tackle, but um, I think we're good to go for a minute. The team's pretty stacked. Now, 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 Professor Owen, you must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. I don't care. <laughs> oh, it's Dawn. Ah, George, well, how is your Pokedex progressing? That's the over gym bads I see. But hadn't I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Yeah, mate, that's because I'm class. Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, you must be so difficult. We are speaking to you on business because this is work for us. What we're saying is, we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot. Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Don't loiter for no good reason. Don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. If you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. 
Professor Rowan, you go. You absolute beast. You call yourselves adults? You kids. Don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Nah, definitely not, mate. We won't. We won't. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. So these are those galactic grunts that we all know and love then. Or hate. Or love. Jord, let's battle together. Let's do this. Let's see what they've got for us. Hopefully they're uh, not that much higher levels than us at the moment. Stunky and Glamiow. Okay, so are these normal types or dark types? Um, let's head off with... Let's go for a wing attack on the Glamiow. Glamiow's, Glamiow's going to use Fake Out. And the Stunky's going to use Poison Gas, but it missed. Oh, I flinched. Okay, let's go for a quick attack on that Glamiow again. Instead of uh, wing attack this time. Uh, Blue clutched and came through with the quick claw. It's down to half health. Oh, wow. Uh, Stunky's using focus energy. He's getting pumped. What is he going to use? That's the thing. Okay, right. So, Blue's low on health. We can either quick attack and take out that Glamiow. Or we can switch out. I think I might switch out to Rocky quickly and go for a rock smash I think I might so Stunky's gone for a fury swipes on Piplup that's no bother to me to be fair Piplup goes for a pound and knocks out the Glamiow that's perfect so Blue and Rocky get 82 points and we're gonna go with a rock smash on the Stunky Again, he's gone for a Fury Swipes on Piplup. Oh, he crits it! Go on, Piplup, you hold in there. Hit twice. And he's gone for a bubble. So that's not super effective. Um, but it does lower his defense, so, which is pretty decent. Let's go for a tackle quickly on Stunky. And again, he's gone for Fury Swipes. So he must only know Fury Swipes and Poison Gas. Piplup, stay in there. Crit again. Ah, oh, and another attack. And Piplup's down. Let's see what Dawn has. As a second Pokemon, shouldn't be too. Oh, is it just one on one now? Okay, so let's go for let's go for a tackle again. Hopefully, we can just take it out straight away. Sunky goes for a Fury Swipes on me this time. Crit hits on one, two crit hits in that. Hit three times. Wow. And there we go. Sunky fainted, and the Team Galactic Grunts are finished. Blue's level eleven. Lovely job. And so's Rocky. Rocky wants to learn the move Rock Throw. Okay, let's go with that one. So what moves have we got on there at the minute? We've got Tackle Defense Go, Rock Polish, and Rock Smash. We'll keep... Yeah, let's get rid of Defense Curl. So we don't really use that one. That'd be good for when we're up against flying types. How is this possible? The two of us losing to children. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. See you later, mate. Bye then. That lot, they called themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's mystic power far beyond our control. It probably is, Rowan, and you are the Pokemon professor, so you know best. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. For what, mate? George, did you know the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? Yeah, Dawn, come on, everybody knows that. Maybe that's the reason those people tried to take the professor's research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over, so you can relax now. Thanks to you two, nothing came out of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Jord, kudos for all your battling skills. It got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? I was going to do that anyway, Professor. Doing so, you'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon. Yeah, but in a Nuzlocke, you can't catch them all, can you? You can't catch that many. Uh, in other words, it will be a great help to my research. That said, I've given you your first Pokemon and Pokedex as yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. I wasn't under the impression that I was going to give them back, to be fair. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. Ooh, a fashion case. A fashion case. Probably won't use that, but uh, thanks a lot, buddy. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. 
I don't really fancy dressing up my Pokemon. That's not my uh, forte. But thanks for that. Appreciate that. So uh, let's uh, quickly head back and heal before we go on up. Okay, boys and girls, Route 204. So we should be in for our next encounter. Let's get through this uh, trainer battle. Actually, let's get our first encounter first. Then we'll do the training battles. Let's see what we can get. Here it is. Oh, and it's a Shinx. We can't do that, unfortunately. Can't do the Deep's Claws. And raising the, uh, the dead box anyway. So uh, we'll quickly just take care of this guy. Round two, let's see what the encounter is. And it's a Bidoof. Again, we can't do that one. Third time lucky. Fingers crossed, mates. A Wurmple, okay. <laughs> to be honest, I forgot they were in this, uh, in this game here. But I'll take it. Let's see what we can do. Let's just go with um, a Tackle. Ooh, yeah, that's fine. And we'll throw a ball at Wormpool. Hopefully this ball will catch it. Actually, I can't remember if, be if it's Beautifulite or Dustox, but they're pretty decent for um, like Grass Gyms, maybe some Dark and Psychic as well. Bug type moves are powerful. We're gonna go with Stilt Skin and she's gonna go in the box for the time being. Okay, so let's get into our first trainer battle on Route 203. A weak looking trainer, do you want to have a go? You cheeky little mare. I'll show you, let's see what you've got then. One Pokemon, one against my six. How weak do you think I am now? So she goes out with a Shinx. Um, let's first off, I don't think he's gonna know any uh, electric moves just yet. So let's head off with a quick attack. Yeah, that does pretty decent damage. So Shinx is gonna go for a Leer and lower our defense, but that's okay. So we'll just go with another quick attack and finish this uh, lass. Can't remember her name, but she is down. And she thought I was weak. Sarah, there you go. See you later, Sarah. Okay, and now on into the second battle of Route 203. I'll beat you with a magic art my dad gave me. Son, I don't think you will. Unless your Magikarp knows anything other than Flail or Splash. Let's see, level eight Magikarp. Um, should we even switch out for this? No, I think I want to get the um, the levels onto blue for the time being. Ooh, almost a one hit there. So there you go, Splash. Let's see how much damage you do. Nothing. What did you expect, mate? It's a Magikarp. You wanna get one of those EXP shares for that. Magikarp's down. Which reminds me, actually, we should get a um, EXP share fairly soon, probably in the next episode when we get to Eternal City, I think that is where it is. Um, but yeah, let's head on, let's back, is she a battle? Yeah, she's a battle, let's, let's do this. Okay, last Samantha's got one Pokemon and she sent out a Buddy. Fortunately, we've got our Blue out in front and he is gonna use a Wing Attack and and one hit this Buddy. There we go, KO'd. See you later, buddy. We might have to switch out. I don't think I've over-leveled everybody. Blue's level 12. Lovely job. Last Samantha, you're down and you give me 112 pounds for winning. Okay, let's see what this guy says. Oh, nothing. Let me just go back out and talk to this guy. Uh, Ravage Path, that is. That's another encounter. The boulder's blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a Pokemon's hidden move. Yeah, that's Rock Smash, that's fine. So let's head on in here. Let's first of all get our encounter for Ravage Path. Are we going to get an encounter? There it is. What have we got? A Zubat. We've already got a Zubat. We might have everything that's uh, available in this cave, to be fair. So we just found Rock Tomb in uh, this Ravage ca Path. Sorry, in the Ravage Path. We might actually have everything in here. So I'll keep looking around, getting another couple of encounters. But we might have to just leave this one for the time being. Yeah, so it doesn't look like that we can uh, catch anything else in that cave there. So I'm just going to head on up to Route 204. Uh, does this guy want to battle me? Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have the same type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against it yet. That's fine. I know what I'm doing, buddy. This has got to be a battle. There we go. 
A Roman Lady Taylor. She's got two dudes. Okay, so straight up with a buddy. And we're going to straight up uh, wing attack and probably one hit this. Oh, actually, it's a level nine. Yeah, but blue is super effective against buddy. Uh, do you have another one? Let's have a look, shall we? Ch Cheruby? Cheruby? I assume that's a grass type as well. Let's go for another wing attack on that. One hit KO. Imagine that if, if uh, wing attack was a one hit KO. Blue's level 13. Lovely job, lovely job. And he wants to learn double team. I'm uh, not gonna bother with double team, to be fair. We'll keep our old moves. I'm actually just gonna switch out. Uh, who should we put in front now? We'll switch blue with... Uh, let's go... Let's go, Jimmy. Cricketune. Let's see what you can do. Let's head on up here. Oh, we've got another encounter. We'll see what we can get. Another bit of... Unfortunately, we already have one, so we can't catch it. But level 10 is pretty decent for um, uh, leveling here. I'm going to switch Jimmy for Rocky. Uh, I like Rocky being in front for the moment. We'll get a couple more levels on Rocky, and then we'll head on up through. Hey, let me show off my bug Pokemon. Let's see what you got then. Um, it's got bug catcher Brandon's got two Pokemon. He's got a Wurmple, a level 10 Wurmple. Why have you not evolved for that, mate? Let's go with a rock throw. Let's see what this does on a Wurmple. So it's super effective, and it's a, a crit as well. Rocky knocks out that Wurmple straight up. Have you got another one, maybe? Let's have a look. That's a decent amount of XP there. And he's gone for a Cricketot. So, level 11 Cricketot. Let's go for a Rock Throw again. Oh, he's going to use Bide. If that hits me, it could take me out. But fortunately, it's super effective. And it gets knocked out straight away. Rocky's level 12. Perfect. I think I've got a double battle coming up. So I'm going to switch Twiggy for Blue. So we've got Rocky and Blue out in front. Uh, and let's see what these guys do. There we go. Come on then, little ladies. We're the strongest in our class. Well, you haven't met me yet then. So you are challenged by twins, Liv and Liz. Oh wow, Patrice and Patrice. Well, okay, so we've got Rock Throw. So we'll Rock Throw one of them. Um, and I think I'm probably gonna switch out Starly, or Blue should I say, for Twiggy, because if they know Spark, they could probably one hit Blue. And I'll be really upset <laughs> if Blue goes down same episode we get him, just like Ray. Um, so Patrizu uses a quick attack, doesn't do that much damage. Rocky goes for a rock throw, does okay damage. Let's go for a rock smash on this. Okay, so we're gonna go for a rock smash on the right hand side Patrizu to lower its defense. And then Twiggy's going to use Razor Leaf, which should hit both of them. Yeah, there you go, look. So, very, very good damage there. I like that. So we go for a Rock Smash. Um, and let's go with... Let's do a Rock Throw on the right-hand side and a Razor Leaf to hit both. Patrice, who uses a Quick Attack. Oh, they both use Quick Attacks. Doesn't actually do that much damage to me, so we're okay there. Razor Leaf should take out both, to be fair. One's down. Yeah, they're both down. Well done, team. First double battle in the bag. Oh, 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 and we've defeated the twins. Let's move on. This looks like it. We're going to head on into F Floroma Town. Let's quickly hit up this uh, PC. Oh, look, more galactic grunts. Aren't we team galactic? And we're assigned here, standing around among flowers. This doesn't seem at all cool. Hey, now, don't complain. This is a pretty decent assignment. Bug and grass type Pokemon, they creep me out. I don't like being here either. Okay, so we can't go up there yet. Let's have a little look around and see what we've got to do. I think it's over this way somewhere. Route 205, we can get another encounter along here. Um, well, let's pick some berries quickly. Chesto and a peacher, lovely job. Help, help, trainer, please. I want to see my papa. My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks, but then a whole bunch of people dressed like Spaceman came. That must be Team Galactic. They kicked me out and they're making my papa do something. Come on, let's go and sort them out. I remember now. Uh, it's not up there. We can't go up there. It's this way, isn't it? Um, so I think first let's go and get our encounter for the uh, for the uh, for the route. Whoa, a shellos. Okay, I'll take that. Definitely, we haven't got a water type just yet. Water and ground, actually, in it. Perfect typing. Let's go with a little tackle on this one. Oh, he's got harden as well. Defense rose. Okay, 
Yeah, we can keep smashing these tackles and we should be able to get it. Yeah, boy, in the ball, in the bag, Shellos. We've got to think of a decent name. What should we call him then? Shellos the Sea Slug. We're going to call us call him Slugger. We're all healed up. Slugger is in the box. We've got Geodude out in front. Let's battle this guy and try and get into the Wimworks. Let's see what he's got. Galactic Grunt. He's got one Pokemon. He's got a Glamiao. Level 13. Okay, Rocky, let's go. Um, so let's start with a Rock Smash. Try and lower its defense. Ah, oh, he goes for a straight up Growl. Lowers my attack. Okay. Lovely. And it's super effective as well. So this Glamiao is a normal type. Fighting super effective against that. Ah, oh, phew. That hypnosis missed. It's rock smash again. We should be able to do one more and uh, defeat this galactic grunt. It goes for a growl, lowers our attack again. Rock smash. And he's down. Galactic grunt defeated. Lovely job. So now we must have access to this uh, to this windworks. So it's locked from the inside and matey said it's in a flower patch. I gotta go and find a key in a flower patch. Uh, what's this Pokeball? Potion, ideal. I wonder if those grunts back in Flamora Town uh, Floroma Town, sorry, I've moved. Let's go and check. Yeah, looks like it. And there's more grunts up here. I assume we have to battle these guys as well. Grunt one has uh, a stunky one Pokemon. I thought it was going to be a double battle to be fair, but it's not. So um, I think I'm going to switch out for blue and go for a wing attack. Go on, blue. Oh, he goes for a poison gas. Okay, hopefully we can live this out then. Yeah, that poison damage does hurt. So let's go for a wing attack. Uh, he goes for a Fury Swipes, and that's going to do decent damage if it hits a few times. There's three. And another one. Ah, uh, please don't crit me, please don't crit me. Four times. Okay, Blue, wing attack. Ah, oh, only one hits. He gets a critical hit, and... Oh, that's a great battle. I thought we were going to lose Blue then. That was sketchy. Rocky's 14. And I think Blue is as well. Yeah, level 14. So that's Grunt 1 down. I know we've got another Grunt to do now. Oh, uh, Blue's evolving. Blue evolved into Staravia. Second evolution on the team. What a beauty. Oh, just in time as well. Now we've got Grunt 2, haven't we? Okay, so Grunt 2 sent out a Zubat. We've got Geodude in front. Let's go for a Rock Throw. He's going for a Supersonic, but it missed because Geodude's a tank. Well done, Rocky. One hit killed that Zubat. Zubat's down. Galactic Grunt sends out another Zubat. Well, let's just do the same thing. Hopefully, um, we can just get a crit on this guy and, and he'll be out. We might not even need a crit, to be fair. Rocky shoots a Rock Throw. Zubat's down. Perfect. Just the way I like it. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. So that's going to be for the win works. So we'll be able to go in there now. I'm just going to quickly run back, get a heal up, and then we'll go and have a look. We're all healed up. Staravia's out in front. Let's see what this win works is all about. Kachunk. The Valley win works door opened. No way. You have the key. Locking the door is meaningless. <laughs> I'm the loser in this after all. There's no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. I just runs off, look. Must be scared already. So let's go and uh, battle this dude here. Another galactic grunt. Probably got a Glamiao or a Stunky, I reckon. Let's see. Let's see what our newfound Staravia can do. Shall I stay with Blue and Quick Attack? Or shall I change out to Geodude, to Rocky? Let's go with a Wing Attack quickly, see what that does. Actually, that does okay damage. We'll just go with another quick attack, and this guy should be out. Uh, come on, Blue. Go for a quick attack. Yeah, and Zubat's down. Lovely job, buddy. And now we can head on to the next guy. 150 points there. Some brat messed up. Yeah, that's your side, not mine, mate. Let's have a look then. So let's go up here, challenge this blokey. And there's a dude with red hair back there. I can't remember what his name is. We'll find out in a second. Galactic Grunt sends out a Glamiao. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got blue. We get the intimidate. Oh, I didn't even realise that uh, Star Avery's got intimidate now. That's perfect. Uh, let's go with a wing attack. This battle shouldn't be too long. Oh, nearly a one hit. So we'll do the same strat again. 
wing attack, quick attack, and we're out. Blue, you absolute legend. Star Ravia is such a decent Pokemon for early on. I can't wait until it evolves into Star Raptor though, it's gonna be a beaut. Oh, we've got Stunky as well. Should we do the same thing? Let's go for another wing attack, why not? Oh, nearly a one hit there. I was going for poison gas. I wonder if I've got an antidote. We'll check after. Don't wanna head back and heal up again. I'm pretty sure I do. Let's go with a quick attack quickly. Let's get out of this battle. That's it, and Stunky's down. Blue, the legend, the man, 186 points, and level 15. There's a few dudes here, let's so. Who's this dude with a red hair? I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait. That's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Well, I guess I know what's happening then. You're leaving, Mars. Mars sends out a Zubat. Okay, so should we switch out now? Uh, no, we've got the Intimidate. That's good. So we cut the attack. Let's go with, let's straight up wing attack. I know it's not gonna do that much damage. Actually, that was pretty decent. Don't flinch, don't flinch. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? I'm gonna destroy your Pokemon. Let's go with a quick attack, see if we can knock the Zubat out and see what she has next. There you go, Zubat's down. Blue's clutching up like usual. Load of XP, a Purgly. Okay, so is this a normal and dark or just a normal? See, we could switch out to Rocky. And yeah, let's actually just do that. Let's switch out to Rocky. We'll use a Rock Smash to lower its defense. Purgly use Fake Out. Is that gonna make me flinch? It's not very effective, that's decent though. So let's use a Rock Smash. Ah, oh, he's got a Faint Attack. So we're down to half health. We can take a couple more faint attacks if need to. Oh wow, Rocky got a crit and it's super effective. The defense is lowered, the defense fell. Uh, Pogli's got a berry. Is that an Auron or a Citrus? It's Auron Berry, so it, it restored 10 HP. Let's go with another Rock Smash. Pogli's gonna use a faint attack, but we can take that. Um, 21 down to 10. So I can't take another one though. Okay, so we're gonna have to switch out again. Who do we switch out to now? Let's go with Jimmy. Let's send Jimmy out. If this is a dark type, which I'm not sure, it might just be plain normal, um, but if it is a dark type, Fury Cutter should be super effective. Ooh, um, I don't think, I'll tell you what we'll do. Just for testing purposes, we're gonna use a potion on Jimmy and then we're gonna use Fury Cutter. So we've restored health there. Pergly's gonna use Scratch. Oh no. See, if I take another hit, Jimmy's gonna get uh, knocked out. Jimmy's gonna go to the dead box. So I can't potion again. Um, I'm gonna have to switch again. We're gonna have to go blue and quick attack. There we go, hang in there, blue. I really wanted to test out that um, Fury Cutter though, just to see if this guy was a dark type. I could just look it up on Cerebi, I suppose. Probably goes for a faint attack does okay damage, but we should be fine. We've got the Quick Claw. Blue uses Quick Attack. Pogli's out. So there we go, we've defeated uh, Commander Mars. 222 experience, that's loads. Oops, I messed that up. That's all right though, I quite enjoyed our battle. To be fair, I that's quite nice. Who's this guy, Sharon? Uh, is that a bloke called Sharon? My, my, at least to a child, will you? But no matter, we've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. Quite spectacular, he said. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon, the evil genius, the boss recognises now Mars, we should be get going. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Oh look, they're gone. This must be that little girl's dad. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Look, there she is, she's coming running in. Papa! Yuck! Papa, you're stinky, go shower now. Stinky. That's not a very nice thing to say to your dad, is it? Oh, sorry, they had me working non-stop. 
Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visit again, visiting again. Oh, I didn't think about that. So that balloon Pokemon would have been Drifloon. And if we waited, we could have uh, we could have had our encounter and maybe caught a Drifloon. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, it's that Looker again. It's you. I've heard that Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. Therefore, I come running. So the Team Galactic, where are they? You've run them off, you say. You're a trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. I just told you they're gone, mate. Oh, he's back. Magnificent. Yes, it is. What you've said is all true. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. I've received tips that Team Galactic hideout is in Eterna City. To there, I must be off. But the chances in that, we're on our way up to Eterna City to grab our uh, uh, second badge. But uh, let's go and heal up quickly. So the team's looking decent, guys. Um, I've just swapped Daffy out in front so we can do a little bit of switch training and train him up on the way up to Eterna City. But that's going to be in the next episode, guys. Remember, if you like these episodes, smash that thumbs up button, comment in the down there, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you next time.